Hello and welcome to Sonia's Be On This Channel. Today is all about finding hidden treasures. The best places to go to find hidden treasures will be yard sales, thrift stores, pawn shop. And this is the one I really love. And that those are things that are free that you will find at the end of people curbs that are throwing trash away. Just on a normal trash day, you can find some very special hidden treasures. One particular treasure that I stumbled upon at a yard sale and I got it for free. Part of Tyler Perry prop that he used in one of his movies. So I am very excited about that. So with that in mind, let's get started. Okay, we're going to start here. I'm going to show you some of the things that I picked up from a yard sale. When I go yard sale shopping, I always look for very special, small, unique pieces things that I can redo to make it my own style and when you go to a yard sale don't just look at it and say well no I can't do anything with those things because when you get home you have to really use your imagination the taste that you like if it's not your taste pick it up for someone else because it may only cost just a couple of dollars for the items everything that you see on this table I'm going to showcase that to you and then there are some more things I want to put on the table. So everything that's going to go on the table, it's going to total. I'm going to give you the total at the very end, but you're going to be surprised at what I paid for the grand total of all my decorative pieces and my free stuff. Now when it comes to the clothes that I actually picked up from a thrift store, I have seven I think it's seven to eight bags of clothes. Some still have tags on them. For the clothing, all seven bags of clothing, I paid $180 from a thrift store. But right now, we're going to focus on the yard sale items, and we're going to focus on the things that I picked up from, for free. And it's going to have the label on it if it says free. If it says free, that means I got it from someone's trash on trash day. I drove around, saw something, caught my eye, picked it up had to have it. I can be dressed to the nines, but if I see something on the side of the road and it's trash, and, and sometimes it's best to go and ask the people, do you mind if I have your trash? They say yes, go ahead and take it. So, let's get started with the table. This is an item that I purchased from a yard sale. That is very, very nice. I actually have this piece sitting outside on my front porch. Another thing that I purchased is this chandelier with the with the crystals hanging from it. I gotta tell you how much I paid for this now because I can't wait. I only paid two dollars for this. This would be very nice to go inside of a small bathroom, uh, a lady a lady's vanity set uh, in the bathroom, or just to sit out on the counter. That is beautiful. The next thing I'm going to focus on will be this clock. Now right now I'm having this thing about clocks because um, I'm collecting a lot of clocks because I said when I move into a bigger house, I want to do a wall just full of clocks. Different size clocks, different styles of clocks. So I thought that was very neat. That was only a dollar. These little vase brass type base different styles this was very unique they had four dollars on it that's another thing when you're going yard sale shopping don't be intimidated by the prices on here because when a a seller put these prices on they already have in mind you're gonna try to negotiate a price and they already have a fixed amount that they're gonna go down to so this says four dollars so I picked up other items so I've got this for a dollar the next thing I want to show you, I thought this was very cute. I picked that up from a yard sale. And another thing you want to check out too is um, check your local paper, go online, and um, check out the best yard sales to go to are the ones that have community yard sales. Because that's going to save you less gas of having to drive around and find, you know, the place that you want to go and look for things. But if they say 8 o'clock, it is true that early bird will get the better deals. This is beautiful. I got this from a yard sale. 
she threw in the grapes with it. I really don't have a need for it, so I may give that away to someone, but this came together. I have an idea of what, what I want to do with this. This is very cute. I'm gonna put this down to the side. Another thing that I picked up, I got that from the yard sale. That is nice. You can hang this in the kitchen if you have a little small nook area, hang that on your wall. I picked this up from a yard sale. That is very nice. So all the things that I've showed you so far, I'm gonna start placing them at a lower position so I can bring other things up to the top. This is very cute. This is like, let's move this out of the way. Now that I've already showcased that. This is so cute to me. This is like a Coca-Cola uh, collectibles item. This is the Coca-Cola from the Christmas of 2003. I bought those two together for 50 cents. But this is what I really, really like. I bought at a yard sale. I bought this six pack of Coca-Cola and it's from the Georgia Tech 1990 football, National uh, Football Champions for Georgia Tech. That's a 1990 series. This right here is from the Atlanta Olympics. So if you live here in Georgia or you saw, came down to Georgia for the Olympics, this came from the Olympics. And the last Coca-Cola collection that I have, this came from the Georgia Dome, Atlanta, Georgia Super Bowl. This is a Super Bowl collection. So I have three sets of six Coca-Cola collection. You're gonna be surprised how much I paid for this. All three sets, I paid six dollars. That's it. I paid six dollars for all three sets. I'm gonna save these and put them up for later. This I bought from a yard sale. Very heavy. This would be nice to go into a, a bathroom and make it out of like a tissue paper holder. Or you can do something else with this. Got that from a yard sale. So don't go tallying everything up as of yet because you're going to be surprised when I tell you the total of all these things I'm going to show you. That vase I got from a yard sale. I picked this up from a yard sale. Now this is not really my taste with all this going around here. I'm going to take that up and two ways I can do this. I can remove this, clean this up a little bit near and put like some fake eggs or lemons or something like that of sort and put this in the kitchen. But I think I'm gonna take it outside. We're gonna remove this. I'm gonna take this candle out. I'm gonna get me a centronella candle, a larger candle, sit it inside of it and either sit it on my front porch or maybe on my back patio table. So at nighttime when we're sitting outside, we can have the centronella candle inside to keep all the mosquitoes away. The next thing I have, I picked this up from a yard sale too. This came, the candles came with it. That's a pretty little piece. That's very pretty. That came from the yard sale. Let me sit that over to the side. Next thing I have, every lady should have one of these. This is what you call a mirror to go and it's lighted. It was, it's brand new. They had never opened it. She had two dollars on it, but um, it's like the magnifying mirror. So when ladies are cleaning their face or you putting on your makeup, this is good to have. She had $2 on it, but I think I got it for a dollar. I negotiated it from $2. So even if it says a low price like $2, you still can negotiate the price. Okay, this is like a Hershey tin can collection kit. The lady was selling this. I got that. That's a bigger Hershey. Very cute. That Hershey and that Hershey. And she even threw in the little Hershey look, little Sunday glasses sort of. These are cute. Now, when I go yard selling, I will pick up some glasses. But the ones that I pick up from yard selling, I do not use that for my family. It's just for decorative. Now, you may want to use, utilize it for drinking or whatever, but when I go to yard sale and find little cute pieces like this, I'm not going to drink out of them. It's just for a decorative um, statement. Okay, the next thing I have, 
This is rather heavy. Oh, let me see if I move this out the way. It's this top area tree. Oh, that's heavy. I'm going to take this ribbon off. I'm going to take this, this ball off. And I'm going to go by Michael's and pick up a new one. And um, I'm going to redo the whole thing. But this is coming off. I may detail this by hand. And I'm going to remove the rocks in it. So I got that from the yard sale too. I picked up this little bag from the yard sale, which is cute. I can use this to go back and carry things next time I go yard sale shopping. I can pick some things up with that. And there's a couple more things I want to show you. Okay, this is real cute. I got that from the yard sale. You take this part up, you put a candle on the inside of it, and you can burn it in the house or you can burn it outside. The next thing I want to show you are these microwave hot plates. These are brand new, had never been opened or used. And what you do, you place them in the microwave and take your favorite dish that you want to keep warm. You sit it on the table, put your favorite dish dish on top of it and it will stay warm for up to an hour I got both of these for 50 cents a piece brand new never been used two last things I want to show you that I bought on this go round are these cups these are very cute I bought these they were a dollar um, oh, poles. These last two. Sorry. Last two. Last two. I bought these from a yard sale. Everyone was just walking around, bypassing it, and I walked up on them, and I just hurry up and grab these. I have two of those. That's the first one, and here's the second one. I could not pass these two up because I'm going to redo these to fit my own taste of style. So... There you have it for everything that I purchased within this, within this section of things. There's a little bit more I cannot pull out, but for everything that I've just showed you of these arts and end pieces, I only paid $26. That's it. Only paid $26. You cannot beat that price. In the way with the economy right now, that is the best place to go is to a yard sale. So now we're going to go over to the items that I picked up for free and it came from someone's trash. Okay, here are some of the things that I picked up that were at the curb of someone's trash day. I was driving one day and I think a neighbor was moving out and she put it at the trash. So I asked her, I said, are you throwing those away? And she said, yes, I am. And I asked her, I said, do you mind if I pick them? Do you mind if I have them? And she said, no, go ahead and get them. These are prop signs. This is what you see at some restaurant, some place of business. You see these signs. Well, these signs are very expensive. This sign right here alone is almost $200, a hundred and some odd dollars. Then you have the smaller one. She threw both away. They were sitting at the curb. I picked them up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove all of this. I'm gonna clean it down real good. And then I'm gonna take some spray paint and paint it. When I finish with this, you're gonna think I purchased it brand new. Now, as far as the sign goes, I'm gonna take these out. I can have whatever sign I want to insert inside it to um, have it redone, or I can probably just, now that I'm noticing, flip it over and add my own touch to it. And then it came with the arrow points to let you know which way to go. So I'm gonna take that out and flip it this way. I can do that. Same with this. This is a bigger sign. This is the bigger version. And it's amazing how people just throw stuff away. But I see value in it. So I will pick it up. And I'm not ashamed. I'm not, um, what, I'm not intimidated to stop and ask someone who is it trash. You don't want it. If, I mean, it's going to go to a waste field, so why not get it and recycle it? Okay, here's another great item that I found at a yard sale. And guess what? It was free. They was giving it away. This is a fairly good television, 46 inch Sony TV. 
as you can see, there's no scratches anywhere on this TV. Anywhere. The only problem is it needs a red pitcher tube. So what I'm going to do is check around for a red pitcher tube, which it only costs around $50 to $100 to put a pitcher tube in here. And you have a brand new television, light new television. It's not the new flat screen, but that's okay. I don't have a problem with that. I have flat screens, but this for free, how could I pass that up? You can connect a surround sound system, the Sony. I have a Sony system. I can put on the side of it, hook it up, and it, as long as this picture is playing good, I'm good. Okay, here's another item that I picked up, and guess what? Free. Picked it up on the curb of someone's trash day, saw it, and just knew I had to have it. They were actually throwing this away, and this came from a dresser. They detached it. It still has the attachment to it. I'm going to take that off. It has some nails that's coming through the base of the mirror. I'm going to take those off. I'm going to realign this mirror on here. And I think I'm going to either do it in leather or some other type um, way. But this is going to hang either in a hallway or somewhere in my bedroom. And finally, the last item that I have for free, I saved the best for last. This is a prop that came from Tyler Perry Studio from his movie Medea's Family Reunion. If you have this movie, Medea's Family Reunion, you can check it out to make sure that, um, to verify that I am telling the truth about this prop. I received this from a yard sale. Can you believe that? I received this frame from a yard sale. The lady, I stopped, she had a yard sale going on. I stopped just to see some things she had. She didn't even have this out to display for sale. But in the midst of us talking, and I don't know why, when I'm out and about, people have a tendency to want to talk. So we were talking and she told me she was into filming. She does a lot of costume. Her husband does production. Her daughter and her sons, they're into filming. She knows Tyler Perry. Well, she gave me this. I'm not going to disclose her name. I'm not going to say who she is. But in the midst of us talking, she took me to a storage room she has. And what made me stop at this yard sale, she lives in a house that was built back in the 1800s. I was more so intrigued by the house than anything she really had. But she had a lot of good collectibles, old things. And then we, in the midst of us talking, she talked about Tyler Perry. And my eyes lit up. She said she had some things that belong to Tyler Perry. In disbelief, I just could not believe it. She took me to this back storage room that she had, a store uh, outhouse. It's like a storage room where she keep all her props and everything that she received. This came from Tyler Perry. They did this from the movie Medea Family Reunion. She had two of these. She even had the piano they had from this movie. I tried to get her to sell me the piano. Now you know I tried that, but she would not budge on that piano. But she was going to give me both. But there was a young lady that wanted one, and I didn't want to be selfish because I think it's just, it's fantastic to have this. For me, it's like having a part of history. Um, like I said, you can verify what I'm telling you. It's going to be in the Medea Family Reunion movie, and it's going to be number 21. Look at the guys who are standing off to the side. They're holding this picture frame. Like I said, she had six. Four she donated to the art center down here in McDonough, Georgia. And the other two she just had. So... She gave me one, gave someone else one because she was going to give me both and I didn't want to be selfish. So that is how I got a piece of history. For me, it's history. And I am just so excited to have this. So the next time you sell yard sale, you definitely want to stop because you just never know what you may be embarking upon and finding when it comes to a hidden treasure. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the clothes. Okay, this is the last of my hidden treasures that I found. I went to a thrift store here in Georgia. The name of it is Value Village. Every last Wednesday of the month, they mark their prices down an additional 50% off. Here are some items that I'm going to show you that I picked up. What I have before me are gowns, special event gowns. This came from David Bridles. This is a beautiful gown. Very beautiful. No scratches, no stains. I mean, it even has the crimp. It has the skirt up under the crimp. Beautiful. It's just a real beautiful gown. 
this gown was marked at six dollars and 49 cents so i received this for half of 6.49 so that would have gave me a total we're going to average to, to say three dollars and 25 cents this is a david bridal's gown that could be worn to any type of special event or to the prom three dollars and 25 cents you can't beat that okay the next one this is a special event gown or for a night on a town this is really nice this gown was twelve dollars and twenty nine cents all the beads are here all the sequins are in place it has a lovely split in the back and that that lining how they did the the seam or of stitching that lining going down that split is beautiful that was twelve dollars and twenty nine cents so that was six dollars and fifteen cents i paid for this gown the next one, this is beautiful. Look at the detail on this. You can wear this in the summertime to a special event. This is beautiful. And it has a split on the side. There's not a ripped hair and all the sequins are here. I think this was $6.49. So I paid half of that would be six three dollars and twenty five cents average. Let me see if I fix this back. I don't want to rip it. That is beautiful. This is a nice summer gown that can be worn to a special event. I love the color. It's like a lime green, a pretty soft lime green, and it has the back out. That is beautiful. This was six dollars and 29 cents you cannot beat these prices so i paid half of that so we're going to average it off and say i paid three dollars and 15 cents for this gown this is beautiful and it has the lining in it there's not a stain on it i mean just it's beautiful there's not a rip anywhere and it even has the lining in it isn't that pretty Okay, let's move on to some clothes we'll come across. Okay, I paired this up. This is a nice outfit that can be worn to a dinner or business attire. This jacket, that's the back of it. That's the front. I paired it up. Okay, for the jacket, the jacket was four dollars and twenty, no, four dollars and forty-nine cents. So I paid $2.25 for this blazer. You can't find that. A blazer of this quality, this is nice. I normally pay, I think like almost $200 for a blazer. But I don't pay the full price because I'm always shopping on bargains, clearance prices. But that was $2.29. And here's a dress. Nice, cool, convenience worn in the summertime. Or you can wear this in the wintertime with a pair of tidy stockings okay this dress was five dollars and 49 cents so that's two dollars and 25 cents i paid for this dress the necklace is just part of my accessories that i have personally i'm going to wear with this and i'm also for the earrings i'm going to do some little studs this collar okay the next outfit is a blazer because i'm i i'm collecting blazers right now this is a blazer that I picked up and I paired it with this satin gold blouse that I received from Value Village thrift store as well. There's no nothing ripped on the blazer, nothing coming off the blazer. Great quality clothes. I paired, up, paired it up with a pair of earrings that I purchased. A pair of new earrings that I'm going to wear with it. And these were like $3 I think. So when I wear that blazer, I'm not going to wear a necklace. I'm just going to wear the earrings with it. The blazer. Let's take that off and see how much that blazer. Look at that lining on that blazer. That was $5.49. I paid $2.25 for it. You can't beat these prices, people. This is where you need to go to shop. It's at the thrift store. That's where you're going to find your, your most hidden treasures at. Okay, for the blouse, this is pretty. 
this could be worn with that blazer. I can wear this with a pair of jeans. I could dress up. I could dress down. Look professional if I need to be. This was two dollars and forty nine cents. That was a dollar and twenty five cents I paid for that. Okay, here's a blouse that I bought in a vest. Some of the items that I purchased were still brand new, had tags on it. But this vest is beautiful with this, with a pair of jeans or a pair of black slacks. The vest was $5.49. I got it for $2.25. The top was $2.49. I got it for $1.25. For my winter attire, I like this sweater dress. Beautiful. It was $9.49. I got it for half this price. So that was like $4.75, I think it is. That's beautiful. And when it comes to sleepwear, say for instance, don't be intimidated to go into the sleepwear department. I picked this up from their sleepwear department. This is a brand new robe, had never been worn. It was $7.29. I got this for three dollars and fifteen cents, and then I went a step further and looked over and found me some sexy to go up under. Isn't that beautiful? And that was three dollars and twenty nine cents, so that made it like a dollar and some change. That is beautiful to go with that, and I paired that up. So I, I picked up some gowns as well. Pretty. Some stuff had tags on it. That is cute together. Then it has a little police badge on the side. That's cute. So this whole ensemble, what, $5 for a new robe and something to sleep in. The next thing I want to show you, I only have a few more pieces to go to. This vest, this jacket. I got this jacket from the thrift store. These are my earrings that I'm going to pair with it. For the winter time, I'm going to wear this sweater. It is beautiful. That was $4.49. I got it for $2.25. Let me see. Can I see the name? I'm trying to look at the name. This is Jones in New York, I think it is. That's beautiful. Not a rip tear. The color, the quality of the color is just beautiful. And I think I'm going to get me some um, beige army um, type pants to wear with this. Just the, the plain beige pants. Oh, my hand is breaking. That's cute. That was $4.49. This jacket. I think the jacket was, okay, yeah, the jacket was $4.49. So for both pieces, you can say I paid $4.49 for both pieces. Can't beat it. This, I was surprised to find at the thrift store, but I found it. This is a Wilson leather jacket. Regular price on here at the thrift store is $16.49. I got this for $8.25. I'm going to pair that with that sweater I picked up. That is pretty. The sweater was $4.49, so that was $2.25, and I add my little accessory here, and I'm going to wear some studs that color with a pair of black jeans and some ankle boots. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you is this dress that I purchased. I love this dress on. This is so cute. I'm going to wear this some nights in the summertime on cool nights when I'm going out with friends. I bought this little purse. I don't think I'm going to wear this. And this is genuine leather. I got this for a dollar. Genuine leather. That is cute how it wraps around with the V-neck to it. Oh, it's so cute on. Let me tell you how much I paid for this one. It was $9.49, so half of that was $4.75, I think it was. Isn't that pretty? Look how it wraps around. With this little purse, but I think I'm going to have a hand clutch when I wear it. Okay, now my daughter, she found her some things. This is what teenagers are wearing nowadays. She bought the the boy, boy jeans, uh, the blue, the boys, I guess the boy shorts. She's going to rip those and have the little cut tears in it with the blouse. This blouse was a dollar. One dollar and 49 cents. Come on now. You can't beat this. So she only paid 75 cents for this blouse. These are the little, these are the boy shorts that she had. The shorts, the boy shorts were, let's see, I don't see the price on here, but I think they were like 75 cents. So you got a whole outfit for a dollar and 50 cents. Okay, the last thing I wanted to show you in clothing 
It's this blazer and top that my daughter picked up. Really nice. Very professional. She can wear this for an interview, a night out on the town. And she picked up this shirt as well. The blazer, let's check the price on that. Okay, this blazer was $3.29. So that's like a, I guess a dollar and if it was three, it probably was like a dollar and some change. So whatever half of that was, that's what she paid. She didn't pay the whole three dollars and twenty nine cents. And this is a Harris and Wallace jacket. Nice lining to it. And here's the shirt. This is nice. It's almost like a quarter length shirt. This is the back of it, and that's the front. And this is a Tracy M blouse. And it was like 75 cents. It was a dollar 49 cents too, as well. So this is the last of the clothing that I have to show. So I hope you have enjoyed the time we have shared together in finding hidden treasures. And I already know the next time you see a yard sale sign or a thrift store or better yet, someone's trash at the curb, you're going to stop to pick it up because it's true what they say. One man's junk is truly another person's treasure. Until next time, be blessed.